handelt sich so wie die anderen. Wieder. Ja, ist gut, komm mal. Bleib hier. Please. Commander? Commander Richter? Dr. Vetra. I'm Commander Richter, Commandante Principal of the Swiss Guard. Thank you for coming. Hello. Oh, Professor Langdorf, yes. What a relief the symbologist is here. This way, please, Miss Vetra. The situation has changed. We received another threat from the kidnapper. The canister was stolen from our lab around noon yesterday. The intruder killed my research partner, Silvano Pentivoglio, and mutilated him in order to bypass security. We use retinal scanners. They cut out his eye. Is that your stolen canister, Miss Vetra? Where is that camera, number 86? It's wireless. It too was stolen. It could be anywhere inside the Vatican walls. That canister contains an extremely combustible substance called antimatter. We need to locate it immediately or evacuate Vatican City. I'm quite familiar with incendiaries, Miss Vetra. I've never heard of antimatter being used as such. Well, it's never been generated in significant quantities before. It's a way of studying the origins of the universe to try to isolate what some people call the God particle. But there are implications for energy the research. God particle? What we call it isn't important. It's what gives all matter mass, the thing without which we could not exist. You're talking about the moment of creation. Yes, in a way I am. The antimatter is suspended there in an airtight nanocomposite shell with electromagnets on each end. But if it were to fall out of suspension and come in contact with matter, say the bottom of the canister, then the two opposing forces would annihilate one another violently. And what might cause it to fall out of suspension? The battery going dead which it will just before midnight. What kind of annihilation? How violent? A cataclysmic event. A blinding explosion equivalent to about five kilotons. Vatican City will be consumed by light. Those are the exact words the kidnapper used. We will destroy your four pillars. We will brand your preferiti and sacrifice them on the altars of science. Then bring your church down upon you. Vatican City will be consumed by light. A shining star at the end of the path of illumination. It's the ancient Illuminati threat. Destruction of Vatican City through light. Four pillars. There's your kidnapped cardinals. You didn't tell me they were the preferiti, the favorites to be named the next pope. Play it again. We will destroy your four pillars. We will brand your preferred. Wait, stop it. Stop and sacrifice. Brand them. That's another Illuminati legend. This one says that there are a set of five brands each one an ambigram. The first four are the fundamental elements of science, earth, air, fire, and water. The fifth, it's a mystery. Maybe it's this. You said they'd be killed publicly. Yes. Revenge for La Perga. La Perga? Oh, geez, you guys don't even read your own history, do you? 1668. The church kidnapped four Illuminati scientists and branded each one of them on the chest with the symbol of the cross, and purged them of their sins, and they executed them. Threw their bodies out on the street as a warning to others to stop questioning church rulings on scientific matters. They radicalized them. The Perga created a darker, more violent Illuminati, one bent on, on retribution. And look how they intend to finally get it, using antimatter technology to destroy the church. Science obliterates religion. Is there any more? And sacrifice them on the altars of science. Then bring your church down upon you. Vatican City will be consumed by light. A shining star at the end of the path of illumination. Path of illumination. 
I need access to the Vatican archives. Professor, I don't think this is the appropriate moment. Your petition has been denied seven times. No, no, this, this, ha this has nothing to do with my work. The path of illumination is a hidden trail through Rome itself that leads to the Church of the Illumination, the place where the Illuminati would meet in secret. If I can find the senyo, the sign that marks the beginning of that path, the four churches along it may be where he intends to murder your cardinals. One every hour at 8, 9, 10, and 11, then the device explodes at midnight. If we can figure out the first church and get there before he does, maybe we can stop it. But I can't find the start of the path until I get into the archives. Even if I wanted to help you, access to the archives is only by written decree by the curator and the board of Vatican librarians. Or by papal mandate. Yes, but as you know, I'd have heard the Holy Father is dead. What about Il Camerlingo? Il Camerlingo is just a priest here. The former Pope's Chamberlain. Doesn't the power of the Holy See rest in him during Tempus Sede Vicante? Fellas, you called me. His Holiness once told me a Pope was a man torn between the real world and the divine. It seems the real world is upon us tonight. I'm familiar with Illuminati lore and the legend of the brandings. The Purga is a dark stain on this church's history. I'm not surprised this ghost has returned to haunt us. Commandante, hey, have you begun the search for this explosive device? Of course, but it could be anywhere. My primary concern at the moment is the safety of the Cardinal. The Sistine Chapel is a fortress. As long as the Cardinals are in conclave, your security concerns are at a minimum. Devote as many of your Signore, resources. Signore, if you're about to suggest a naked eye search of the entire Vatican City, I will tell you that Commander, you do not have the people. Though I am not His Holiness, when you are addressing me, you are addressing this office, do you understand? Yes, Father. Good. Now, you said the image on the screen was illuminated by artificial light. Might I suggest methodically cutting power to various sections of the city? When the image on the screen goes dark, you'll have a more specific idea of the camera's location. Dr. Vetra, besides yourself and your research partner, who else knew about this antimatter project? No one but the research team. This project was strictly confidential, but Silvano kept detailed journals. If he told anyone else about what we were doing, he would have made a note of it. Do you have these journals? I can have them flown here from Geneva in an hour. Please. Professor Langdon. Mr. Langdon, you are correct that I may grant you access to the archives. Thank you, Padre. Uh, I said that you are correct that I may, not not that I will. Christianity's most sacred codices are in that archive. Given your recent entanglement with the church, there is a question I'd like to ask you first here, in the office of His Holiness. Do you believe in God, sir? Father, I simply believe that religion... I did not ask if you believe what man says about God. I asked if you believe in God. I'm an academic. My mind tells me I will never understand God. And your heart? Tells me I'm not meant to. Faith is a gift that I have yet to receive. Be delicate with our treasures. <laughs> 